Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here. And this movie review is on Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Not Temple of Skulls, not Temple of Fire, and not Skull of Doom either. Because the movie is called Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And this is the second installment in the Indiana Jones film franchise. And, and is once again directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Harrison Ford as the one and only Indiana Jones. So, in the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones is on the trail of fortune and glory in old Shanghai and is re recruited into a dangerous adventure in India. With his faithful companion, Short Round, and nightclub singer Willie Scott, Indiana Jones goes in search of, of the magical Sankara Stone and, and, and uncovers an ancient evil which threatens who, who come into contact with it. And... And this movie is also the, the is also the very first film from 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 from, the, from one of the actors who was in this film who's who was, who who at the time was a kid at the time this movie was made, and and this is also the film debut of Ki Hoi Kwan, Ki Hoi Kwan who's also known for being in other films like like The Goonies as well as as well as winning an Oscar for his performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once. The Goonies was a The Goonies is a classic movie, and. And I really enjoyed that film, as well as Everything Everywhere All at Once. Still, still the best movie of 2022. Yeah, along with other films that came out last year. But, but yeah, so Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, uh, my my thoughts on it. I gotta say, this is actually this is actually a really great sequel to Indiana Jones and the, and, and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I and I gotta say, this is actually a great second installment in the franchise. Yeah, because Steven Spielberg's direction is still well done, along with John Williams' music score. And Harrison Ford's still awesome, as you know. Harrison Ford's still a great Indiana Jones, just like in, in the first movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And plus, I know I, I know, I, I remember reviewing Raiders of the Lost Ark back in 2020. And, and of course, uh, I also watched the, the Temple of Doom on Paramount+. Plus. It, it was actually, it was actually at the time, it was actually at the time I was watching the Indiana Jones films on Paramount Plus, right before they came to Disney Plus, but for me, I watched I watched all of them, and I watched all of them on Paramount Plus. So, and of course, I got my Paramount shirt. Yeah. But yeah, so as for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, I gotta say the the way the the way the cinematography and the, and the way and the way the action and, and of course like 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 how the visuals look, it's actually like pretty stunning, and it's like and it's actually well shot and well edited. And I gotta say, Kiwi Kwan's performance as, as, as like short round. I gotta say, his his performance was actually really great for for his for his for, for in terms of his first movie that he was in. Yeah, and and Kate Cap and Kate Capshaw who played Willie Scott. Like I, I thought, like like Kate actually did pretty good in the film. And oh yeah, plus I think Dan Aykroyd's also in the film too. He plays Weber in this film. Like, in, in the Temple of Doom, like, Dan Aykroyd plays Weber in this film. Dan Aykroyd, I thought he did good. And so, yeah, because pretty much I, I, got, I got nothing else to say about Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. All I can say, the best way I can describe Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, definitely, definitely a really awesome, a really awesome and fun second movie in the Indiana Jones film series. Cause I, cause I know I'm looking forward to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which comes out on June thirtieth. I think there's gonna be like Thursday previews on June 29th as well, like like it, like as usual, for for like in terms of like movies coming out on a Thursday preview before the actual release day the following day. Yeah, and so Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was released in 1984, and like just after, just a few few years after Raiders of the Lost Ark. And yeah, so aside from all that, overall, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was a uh, was an awesome sequel, and I'm gonna give Indi I'm gonna give the Temple of Doom four and a half out of five stars. And there you go, guys. That's my basic short movie review on Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And that's going to be it for this video, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye everybody and that's about it.